So I'm here with my wife Jasmine. She's over there eating a cookie. And uh <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to Nanaimo with Reese. The unicorn back there. That's the unicorn. And of course the Zai guy. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Might head out to some waterfall. I know Monday heading out to the Vancouver Island West Coast. Yeah, we're gonna go out there for the day, spearfish, free dive. Uh, and then Tuesday, I'm not getting getting back into the lower mainland to the late period, the 815 back, so we got the whole day out there to enjoy. Uh, we're moving some of the stuff. Field goes pretty full. Another couple trips to do, and uh, and then we're gonna be Islanders officially living in Nanaimo on the 29th of July. Take possession of our new home. So we're counting the sleeps now. How you doing there, Sayla? All right, I'm looking forward to these sunsets on the ferry. I haven't seen one of these since last year. I've probably already played ferry footage out. The filming keeps me occupied while on the trip over. Plus, the scenery is beautiful, and I love capturing these moments of my kids growing older. We are heading to Oyster River. We're gonna spend a day in the potholes out there and dive around. The trail does go under the fence, but there's no way to get over the No, I, I hear there's like a little animal gate, they call it. What's up, sleepyhead? You have a good nap? Mama, Dada. We made our way down to the river, and my wife's friends were gonna meet soon after. Good job. Uh, let's work on the road. Which way should we go? Left or right? Feeling like uh, right. Come on, Reese, this way. Whoa. Actually, wow. How do we get down there? I think we just walked down that way. Man. Vancouver Island. You're oh doing yourself. We found a safe little spot to post up at and had some fun by the river's edge. So my wife's uh, friends met up and sneaking away for a dive. My wife gives me a hard time. She always thinks I have a hidden agenda. I'm trying to jump in the water when we do this stuff. Yeah, I guess she's probably right on that. Love you, Jasmine. Thank you. The water was pretty warm. I only had to rock my top. It was also very clear and fairly shallow. I felt comfortable enough to go in solo. some fun little swim throughs. What amazing formations this river has created. I spotted this little guy chowing down on a caterpillar. I feel like I interrupted this meal and felt bad, so I helped him out. No hard feelings, little fishy. I swam up the river and took in amazing view after amazing view. It's hard to imagine places like this exist in British Columbia. How lucky are we? What a beautiful spot here. If this was in Vancouver, it'd be bumper to bumper traffic, no parking, we'd be stressed out, fighting crowds. Here there's uh, our family and a few others. Yeah, secluded little remote spot, but stunningly beautiful. There's some cool little swim throughs here. Had a good time in the water. Yeah, we're just chilling with our family and some friends. We're gonna hit up Campbell River later, grab some grub, and then uh, head back to Nanaimo. Yeah, beautiful times here in paradise. Mm. Wanna go get some ice cream? Ice cream. Popsicle? No, they don't say that, they may not have popsicle. Oh. See you later, Cam. Hi, hi. Say hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, maybe you hear me. Can you close the door? I can't see. Dada! Oh, that 
visibility. That's where I should have dove. Damn. Oh, those fish down there. Look at that, crystal clear water, school of fish. Man. Ice cream? Ah. Reef made a sneak attack. Come on, buddy. It's that kid size. They hook it up. No for dogs. Oh yeah, look at all that ice cream, baby. Yum. Later that evening, after the kids went to bed, Reef and I went to Neck Point to catch the sun go down. The sun setting is only part of the beauty. The real show follows when the sky is painted in numerous colors. Every sunset is different, and I always make the effort to go catch them. It's another beautiful morning here in Nanaimo. Picking up Ashraf, Hadi, and then we're grabbing Natasha, and we're heading out to Vancouver Island West Coast. It's gonna be a two and a half hour drive. These guys are diehards. They woke up this morning, probably around 5 a.m., took the sixth ferry from Horseshoe Bay. Uh, they're gonna drive two and a half hours, gonna hike into an area, dive for a bit, uh, probably uh, at least two, three hours in the water. Then they're gonna come back to the ferry terminal and do the same thing on the trip home. So yeah, a lot of travel just for a bit of diving, but that's what you gotta do when you're, oh, there goes my shades. That's what you gotta do when you're uh, uh, divers in the lower mainland. Get a kind of go all in if you want to get some fish. Don't worry, I'll fix them. How you doing? Ready for this day? Yeah, I forgot my cooler, so. What? Oh, I have one. Yeah, no, I see that, man. You good? Yeah, you're, you're just reminding me. Ah, sweet. What a beautiful day. You can open it up. Yeah, no, it's nice, man. How you doing? Good yourself? Good, man, good. Yeah. Doing it. So we're gonna go grab Natasha and then. Awesome. Two and a half hour drive. <laughs> Swag. Sleep your head back here. Ready for this, buddy? Oh, yeah, man. We all geared up by the vehicle and hiked down to the rugged coastline. Walking on this train is always fun. You gotta be careful. Roll an ankle and call the dive before it starts. Hit it, man. Safe and sound. Obviously a bit of swell out here. Once we're in the wetsuit, we're quite buoyant with our suits. So it looks a little intense, but we just float around, bob in the current. Just have to be a bit careful. The footage never does this stuff justice. We can tell by the surge, the type of conditions we had to deal with. Natasha wasted no time and immediately surfaced with a black rockfish. I started this dive off with my camera. Lately, I've been more into filming than fishing. The visibility was half decent and being pulled around in the swell was surprisingly fun. I started seeing some nice sized rockfish myself and it didn't take long for my trigger finger to start itching. I quickly got my limit and had yet to spot any link card, so I got back to filming. The colors at the spot were insanely beautiful. I think my GoPro was even struggling to process them. surge didn't make filming very easy. Ashraf had his camera rolling too and donated some footage for the video.
Nice shooting, man. Day out there battling waves, fighting current, getting tossed around. Uh, some decent visibility, not too great, but workable, manageable. Everybody got their limit in rockfish, so we got some food to bring home. Diving was great, so uh, yeah, I don't regret that trip, but never do. Attempted an underwater time lapse in a little tide pool. It didn't turn out as expected, but I'm still happy with the end product. You win some, you lose some, but you can always learn something in the process. Ah oh, man, wow, taking the fitty back. Yeah, long day. Uh, smell the day. Oh yeah, solid, solid. Twenty pounds of fish, maybe. Oh, oh yeah. Hi, <laughs> <Right. laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, it was a nice day, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, Thanks man. Sasha. See you next weekend. See you next weekend. We'll hit up some more coastline and do some more yeah. diving. Yeah. Beach day, bud. The next day, the family and I went down to Parksville Beach, which is an outdoor recreational lover's paradise with playgrounds, water parks, outdoor gym equipment, a massive skate park, food trucks, walking trails, and beautiful beaches. My wife had some family friends visiting from Medicine Hat, Alberta. It was great to see them catch up and meet the kiddos for the first time. After the beach, we had one last stop. All right, so here at Nymph Falls, last stop. I got a ferry home tonight. But yeah, we got one more little adventure to go on. Sailor woke up clapping. Is so she? Happy. You happy, baby? Yeah. Yeah, happy. Yeah, she's stoked. I wanted to come here this morning, but my wife wanted to meet up with uh, some friends, which we did. And then when we were there, they're like, we should go to Nymph Falls. And I'm like, Jasmine, I said that this morning. But anyways, here we are. Yeah, beautiful spot. Never been here before. Fun to explore. Huckleberry. So yeah, we got down here successfully. The water's flowing pretty fast, so probably won't bring my fins out there and destroy them. Just gonna go look around in the shallow water, maybe ride down those waterfalls. Yeah, it looks like a really fun spot. Excited. A sea dog, gotta go check this out. How amazing is that? Such crystal clear water. This is beautiful. The ocean has my heart, but exploring these freshwater spots can be equally as enjoyable, especially with crystal clear water like this.
off that last spot in a bit of a hurry, a bit of a rush. I had to drive an hour and a half or so to get to the ferries here. Make sure we didn't miss it because I got work tomorrow morning. I catch an A15 reservation home and back to work for four days. And we'll be back here on the island diving some more. More spear fishing, more exploring. It's gonna be the new reality pretty soon. When I move to Vancouver Island, I'll still have to commute back and forth. So be in Ladner four days a week and then on the island, the other three. Thanks Ashraf and Heidi, thanks Natasha. Thanks to my stepmom for letting us stay at her place. Hope you enjoyed this episode, this week's trip. Peace and love, everybody. See you again. Just a little side note. Filming has opened my eyes to nature in ways I never expected. I see life from a new angle and have found a new respect for all of God's creatures. Yes, spotters included. Filming and editing is a time-consuming process, but having these moments documented is priceless. I'm nothing special. I just hold the camera and hit the record button. I strongly encourage anyone watching this to do the same. Humans have made a lot of useless junk, but the video camera is one of mankind's greatest creations. So with that said, I'll leave you with another one-of-a-kind sunset. Peace and love, everybody.